All right, so I realized my other videos were uh, vertical, so I'm going to do horizontal. Uh, my son got me these BTR valve covers for an LS engine. Of course, they'll fit LS1, 2, 3, um, but getting them to work with the LS1 coil packs is a different story because the bolt holes in them are narrower than what's drilled in the uh, bracket. So I've kind of rigged it up, I guess. I made it work, um, and and they're on there. They're not going anywhere. I can shake those, um, but I'll kind of show you what I did. I went to a hardware store and bought longer bolts for these top ones and cut them to length because the supplied ones that that came with the kit um, were just too short to go in the top with these two larger spacers, and these spacers come with the with the BTR uh, kit. Um, there's kind of a list of parts and how many spacers come with it, tools you need, um, kind of installation tips there. Um, but there's that. So I was saying that the kit comes with these bolts, 16, 16 uh, small spacers. 16 of the larger ones and so like I said what I did I went to the hardware store got me some longer bolts I cut them down to the length I needed uh, just like you can see here so I used two long spacers on the top bolted it through but on the bottom I just put the shorter bolt that came with the, the kit and three small spacers but you'll see that it will not line with up that hole. So I just put a little zip tie through that middle spacer and through that hole just to hold it down. Even when I tightened this top bolt pretty tight, it wasn't going anywhere, but I thought, I, I'd do that. I hate putting zip ties on things. that make it look so cheap, but um, I don't think anyone will really notice unless you're like looking at it and you're like, what is that but you know once it's in the car and you're looking at the the ls maybe maybe people won't look at things it came with this plug and i think you can buy extra plugs and whatnot with the kit or if you need a port or some adapter anything you buy those separate but that's what came with mine and it came with two baffles so i think i put there's a baffle here uh, on the underside and sorry i didn't see these and i think i put a baffle here because i thought the pcv valve would go in there I'm not quite sure. I might go with an LS6 plate that has the PC, PVC. Um, let me know if you guys have done that or what you think in the comments. Um, so this side, I went ahead and I had uh, speed engineering. One and seven eight eight. One and the seven. Jeez, oh, I can't talk. One and seven eights. Long tube headers for a third gen LS swap um, for a third gen Camaro. So I went ahead and put them on here. I got the coil packs all uh, bolted up, tied up. I went ahead and put spark plugs in just to see how it would look, if they would fit. Um, and they do. You got a little bit of room on that one. That one's not bad wire-wise. Um, this one's a little more snug, and this one here is, is pretty snug. I, I do got it snapped in there, um, and I think it'll be all right. I wanted to show you without the sleeves. And then kind of with the uh, heat sleeves. I got these from Speed Engineering too. Um, fairly good price, so can really pass them up. Um, they are three eighths inch um, flanges. So there's that. Let's see. 4L60E, Circle D 3500 stall. Um, because we got the BTR Stage 3 cam and uh soon we'll be putting it in in the camaro and we get the tubular k member the 4l60e transmission cross member uh so kind of want to kind of show you guys how i made the ls1 coil packs work on the btr valve covers please like subscribe feel free to leave any questions or comments i'll get back to you guys thank you